We missed you guys. Hi guys. Little mama, is that person that can't put groceries away without eating half of it first? Well, when you come in, I'm getting up to get me something to eat, so you know. Mm-hmm, yeah. We're sorry we've been vacant. Little mama's sciatic went down in her back for yeah. about a week and a half. She, I was having to literally <laughs> carry her around like she like, was a no little old job, woman. I look like crap. Overlook me. <laughs> I literally, even after my car wreck, nothing. My back never hurt. I never had back. I had neck, but never back. When I had my epidural, when I had cold, you're looking up here. I am. I'm talking on either way. But when I had Colton, I had an epidural the last hour. If I'd have just held out 45 more minutes, I'd have had him a totally natural with nothing. But my back has went out twice since I had him. First time was not near this bad. This time, for the first two days, I literally could not walk. All I done was reach down to get a bag of groceries. That was it. I couldn't get back up. I told her I was going to get her a walker, put the little tennis balls on it. She's starting to get a little old on me, guys, and falling apart. It ain't that. <laughs> Crap, it's that epidural's destroying my back. I'm not joking. Like, I could, my legs were shaking, you guys. I couldn't even hardly stand up. The next day after my bike went out, I got up that morning. I made it to the bathroom, used the bathroom, come down here. I stood over the sink and puked my guts out and broke out in a sweat. That's how bad I was hurting. Like, I've never, 30 surgeries. <laughs> Never felt nothing like that in my life. Hey, 30 surgeries. You still got a lot of groceries to put Listen, up. I'm hungry. <laughs> so you want me to go ahead and cook? Well, yeah. This is what we're having for dinner. You guys are going to like this. I'm going to show you how I do it. You may not do it the same way, but it's good. He might be the chef, but I always pick the dinner to be cooked. Shrimp. And we're going to do pouches. Stop eating. Stop. 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 You, you blah, 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 talking with your mouth full. This is America. I'll do as I will. Along with that, I got us a couple of these bad boys. Prime boneless strip. Look at that. Well, you <clears> gotta <throat> explain to them why you got all this shrimp and steak. I'm going for the pockets. You're we'll blurry. show y'all. We'll film it and show y'all. They're so good. Basically, I cut up peppers, onions, mushrooms, cheese, potatoes. Cheese, potatoes and I put them in aluminum foil pockets with the shrimp inside of it. Right. Then I put them on the grill and I let them sit on there and grill for about 45 minutes. And then right before they're done, I throw the steak on. That way it's just right. I like my medium rare little mama, just a little bit past medium rare. She likes her. So, you know, that way Sean, everything's done at the same time. Also right. having fresh. corn on the cob on the grill too. If you've not had it on the grill, you're missing out on life. Well, why I'm cutting up these peppers and onions and getting ready to do this, what? FYI, you guys, we've always used Huggies on Colton, right? We got these because it's all they had at the store in his size that day. Super thin peppers. He has never, in a year and a half, had a rash broke out. These two days oh, came out so bad and as soon as we put went and found his paper sean looked all day and finally found him changed his diaper he was healed the next morning so be careful with these diapers if kids got sensitive skin so i want to ask y'all a question we have started never finished five videos at least like one we went for a ride we never finished the thing um i want you to show them how many corn dogs a week you put down now come over here and show them the pile like literally the pile Oh, you guys. And usually he has to go back out and get another bag. Like, Sean is... I got breakfast corn dogs, too. Yes, he does. They're, instead of regular corn dogs, they're pancake with sausage inside. Like, you've you got issue. You got, you need corn dog intervention. Well, you know, before turkey come along, uh, I was uh, craving corn dogs. Oh, God, Jesus. And you know that... Turk Colton has been like standing on his head and they say when they're standing on their head they're looking for the sibling that's on its way. Listen, can we get my back fully healed first? That's what threw her back out quarantine and chill. No! <laughs> what threw my back out was groceries. <laughs> All right, here's the truth though. Guys, we have started not finished so many videos and uh, it would just go days because uh, we've only just been sitting around the house. We ain't really been doing yeah, anything. Yeah, look at me. Look at I just me. shaved my quarantine beard. I said I can't okay, take wait. it no more. Let's tell them what happened the other night. 
It ain't bad enough we've been in quarantine for six weeks. Okay, Sean's been running out to get groceries. That's pretty much it, because everything's closed. We live in a small town anyways. Like, all we got is Dollar General Walmart. Food City. That's it. Everything's closed. The other night, I bathed Colton. I holler at Sean to come get him, and then I jump in the shower. Well, I'm in the shower. The power goes out. We have <laughs> basically a mild tornado. I'm oh, in the shower. Oh, the winds was 60 mile an hour. I mean, the neighbor's little thing that he puts his wood in was in our backyard, yeah. tangled up into the cable lines. But I was in the shower, okay? Now, we had lights put back and stuff, case power went out, but we were upstairs. Sean had Colton in a towel because I had just got him out of the tub and handed him to Sean. None of us can see our hand in front of our face. I have a washer full of clothes, and we were without power she's raging for out hours. on me because she couldn't find one of her lights, and I said, it's in the cabinet. She's like, no, it's not. So, so I, I come was down naked here, running I around because Sean had is. Colton, so here I am naked with my back half broke in pitch black dark <laughs> trying to ah. find these lights. I mean, I couldn't do this. See, see my hand in front of my face. It was nuts. Did somebody wake hey, him up? Yeah. Did you wake him up from your nap? That you was awake and wild when dad had left. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Say hi everybody, tell them hi. There you go. Daddy's getting ready to do your favorite thing. That Gosh, a mighty... Listen, we got to get this quarantine over with because this kid's hair, hair <laughs> is growing out of control. Like, he's, right. he's getting a mullet. Leave All right, buddy, I'm going in here to start cooking. Does that sound like a plan to you? Okay, I know it does. But oh, like I have tried to say 20 times, would you guys right. be hey, interested? You want me to freeze a pack of this or put both and here it up. goes again. I can never spit nothing out. You want me to freeze a pack? Would you guys be interested in seeing a compilation of the videos that we never completed? I mean, we do have a prank. Fuzz come over, he eats some of the the burner bliss chocolate like, chocolate like i can put them all together you just comment below let us know what you think and if you will you want to see it i'll take all the footage i got that we never did complete and we'll throw it up make a little compilation video of kind of what's been going on the last week or so <sighs> but all right i gotta cut these peppers and taters and all this if stuff the up. garbage fan don't run this week i'm gonna lose my mind garbage guy ain't running too. you're gonna lose your mind you've Who's done and lost your mind the garbage well, it's difficult to get myself in here and the shrimp and stuff. So I'm gonna do the best I can. Y'all get the picture. You probably don't wanna see my ugly face anyway. I mean, come on. But what we got here, fresh shrimp, some onions, got red, yellow, and orange peppers. I thought I had green peppers, but I guess I didn't actually get them. Got some uh, new potatoes. Now what you gonna do, is you're gonna take your aluminum foil and get you a big piece out. And once you got you a big piece of aluminum foil, you wanna lay it out here. Yeah, I finally got a cutting board because I was tired of hearing everybody say, y'all need a cutting board. All right, and take your aluminum foil and make you like a little, some edges here. And then you're gonna take some shrimp in here I'm gonna make two of these so they cook faster grab you some onions put right on top of it take you a lime squeeze some lime juice on there a lemon and pepper some seasoning salt. Gonna be some of your taters. Spread your taters in with it. Add some of your peppers. Like so. And you take some butter. I always use stick butter. I don't use that old artificial margarine in the tub. Although I used to, not no more. 
Give you a few little slices of butter in here. Now, once you got that done, fold these over like this. And so I had to back up and punt, make it a little longer. But it all still works the same. Bada bang, bada boom. Here. Mm -hmm. Flip it upside down. Now you gotta open them and stir them. Just flip it. Not the prettiest get up in the world, but you get it. You're just making something for it all to cook in. Mm -hmm. Alright. Once we get this one done, and this other one done, we'll be back out on the grill. All right, with all the packs of shrimps, taters, peppers, and onions and seasonings all put together, what you need to do is get your grill on about medium heat. Go ahead and open your grill up on your top rack. Go ahead and place your racks. That way they're not directly on the heat and then you're gonna do, you, we're gonna do our steaks right dead on the racks. And you close it up. And it's gonna take around 30, 40 minutes for those to get done. Steaks only take a few minutes, so we now we got time to kill. I'm also, right before it's done, I'm gonna bring the corn out here, slap the corn on it, but in about 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna come out and flip these packs of meat. That way the other side will start getting good. And then all that juice that's on the bottom of the foil, when you flip it, it's gonna run down through the other stuff. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be great, I'm telling you. And you know one thing about this grill, I got called out. Somebody literally told me it was non-essential. What point in life is a grill not essential? Well, here's the big kicker to that too. Half the country had huge windstorms and are out of power. Uh, we got people from Texas that they were out of power. Uh, North Carolina, um, Tennessee, South Carolina. Everybody was out of power. power. Guess what? You know how we cooked yesterday? Our grill. That's how we ate. So, so yeah, guess what? That made it honest. essential. Exactly. And I swear, me and little mama, I think have become the old fogies on the block. Because <laughs> I went and got some bird feeders too and we've been feeding all the birds. Like, I don't know, it just gives us a little bit of, you know, entertainment when we come out. We drink our coffee, we just watch the birds. There's one, then I got another one in that tree right there. And they've been coming from everywhere. So I'm gonna fill this bird feeder up because I had it topped off and they literally eat every drop of that bird food. It's pretty cool to watch them too. We got some cardinals, some blue jays coming in, some finches, like, I dig it. And then every morning we wake up, see our bedroom is right there. Every morning we wake up, we wake up to the sounds of the birds chirping. I mean, it's beautiful, it's relaxing. It helps you wake up in a good mood. So, I'll be that old fogey. I really wish I had smell-o-vision. Like, come on guys, you all don't understand how unbelievably delicious every bit of that smells right now. I'm hoping tomorrow Fuzz comes up. He was gonna come up today and we was gonna go dry land fish hunting, but he got called in to work so he wasn't able to. So I'm hoping tomorrow he'll be able to come up and when he does, we'll take off and we'll get up on the hill. We'll go dry land fish hunting and see if we might be able to find something up there. I've seen people posting all over Facebook that they're everywhere right now, that they're getting good hauls. Like, I've got a feeling that this hillside up here has got a bunch of them. And it goes way on up there. There's a good diversity of trees. I have a feeling, and there's some hickory up there too, and that's really where they grow a lot because they'll call them hickory chickens. But I want to hit that hillside tomorrow and see if we might be able to find some of them morels. Because you're talking about good eating. You know me, I'm a mushroom fanatic. I mean, if you've watched your channel any at all, you know I cook with mushrooms constantly. I love them. And that's what I forgot to put in my daggone things here, is the mushrooms. <laughs> We're also planning on going and filming a Chronicles. We had a call from somebody and they said that there's literally something major going on. We're not going back into that cave yet. I've actually ordered a RC car 
that we're gonna mount a GoPro on and drive it back in there first. You gotta be careful in these old mines, like the tops are bad, they could fall in. We wanna just drive that back in there in case there's snake or mountain lion or anything like that. To be a little more on the safe side, we're gonna drive that back in there as far as we can to see what we can see to kind of scout the area out before we decide to go in it ourselves. But up until that point, we're gonna go check this one place out. People said it's super creepy. Said they've been hearing noises, wood knocks. I gotta get out of this house. This, it's time to move around. The setting at home is for the birds. I can't take it no more. I'm literally about to go crazy. It's destroying my creativity. And then I stay in a wormhole and I get depressed. It's just, I've gotta move around. It's like this, why close the state parks down? If people want to go hike up to Babbitt, like what, why, why not? I don't know, preaching to the choir, they've got our lakes and everything shut down. Which is silly, because you can absolutely social distance in the mountains. I thought that was Colton farting. <laughs> I literally thought, Baba. He was watching a little bit of. I thought you was Putin. They already did that. Yeah, I know. He's teething y'all so bad that his mouth was broke out it's called a teething rash yeah. mama hey ugh. Bubba. yesterday he had a fever when we, the day we had no power he was running a fever all day yeah i feel good today but i had a little breakout show him his teeth he got two right there <laughs> hey i can't never get the bottom lip down <laughs> that little shark tooth he's got this one's up on the skin and that one's about to poke through and he's got these two i guess his eye teeth they're starting to pierce the skin <laughs> tell him what he done when we was driving around <laughs> when he bit his finger and put that big mark on it and squalled uh, you know what i realized what happened to his toe so the other day we woke up and Colton had an infection spot on the right beside his toenail on his big toe and I'm like, what the heck? How did this happen? I remember the day before he had his toe in his mouth and bit it and started screaming. That's what happened. He <laughs> bit it so deep because one of his bottom teeth, it's coming in this way and the point part. So it was like a little needle. Where are you was going? First. Where are you going? So you want to see yourself? There's a little turkey. <laughs> little turkey with mm -hmm. some wild hair these days. So we got see, we got to get this open back up so I can go get a haircut. <laughs> For real. Definitely should have took you before this happened. Lord, I said, well, listen, it's so funny because Walmart literally is selling out of hair dye everywhere because everybody is like, I ain't even going there. I will let mine grow out till I can get to my beautician. So Becky, if you hear me, I ain't using box dye on my hair. I'll just wait it out. But I noticed a lot of people my aging up that's got brown hair that dyes theirs brown their gray is all coming in so they've got gray and then black and they're like mm. i don't care i'm Ow. box dying this gray are you so beating me up do what you gotta do but me i have processed my hair so much i used box dye for so long i'm gonna pass on the box dye right now Hi. we literally are like insanely bored insanely bored for one it may not be this way everywhere. I think Florida has quite less restrictions than Kentucky does. No, nasty. But every, like we live in a tiny town. Y'all know that anyways. There's Where, nothing to do to begin with. There's nothing to do to begin with. And literally nothing is open but the tiny couple grocery stores and Walmart. All the parks, the gates are locked, everything. There's literally nowhere to go, nothing to do. So like we have been here We've got a couple hot videos too, but we're like, we don't want to keep doing them because we always done feelers. We don't just want to sit and do hot, 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 hot. So, and then my back went out. I already told y'all that. And then the power went out for an entire night and day. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> Oh. He's hungry. I gotta get dinner going. He thinks it's so funny. He was biting the fire out of my arm. Would you doing that to mama? All right, I gotta go check on dinner. Oh yeah. Now it is time for this nice yummy piece of prime rib to sizzle on the flames. Now it won't take that five minutes. Two and a half one side, two and a half other, and it's ready for me to eat. These, I'm pretty sure, are done. You can smell them. They smell delicious. I think the corn is pretty well done. 
few more minutes I believe and that'll be a wrap that's a super simple way to do it just put the butter in the corn wrap it in the foil throw it on here yummy oh, I gotta go inside and get my seasonings well little mama could not wait I was gonna do a big grand reveal and she <laughs> just like jumped the gun well I gotta get Bubba's ready I gotta get mine gotta get his first mm, taste of it I'm gonna see your reaction uh you want to wait till it doesn't burn my face off? No. Oh, the shrimp's just falling apart. Mm. Good? Mm-hmm. That's softer than taters. They're good. Awesome. We're done. Veggies are done. Groovy. Surf and turf on quarantine. Bubba, how would you like to have some bite bites? Did I say the bite bites? Did I say bite bites? Are you ready for some? <laughs> All, right. All right, let's get you in the chair. Yeah. Now, who says you gotta go to a big fancy restaurant to get a meal like this? Oh! Ha! Yeah, it was on the grill for about 600 degrees for about 30 minutes. Listen, Linda, I know this. Well, you sure don't act like it. I'm a mess, okay? <laughs> yeah, you My are. Hair I had to go to bed wet the other night and I still haven't showered, I, you know, and dried it and straightened it. You'll be okay. I know. But I forgot to show you the corn. Mm. Mm. How good is that? It's good. And it's delicious. What do you think about it, Bubba man? It's good. Is this some pretty good bite bites? It's good. Is this some pretty good bite bites, buddy? Is it? Did we do good for you? you? You don't seem to be very reactionary. You make him daddy worry. Yeah, eating my bite bites. Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> you a meat and taters kind of yes, man. Yes, he ain't is. You? <laughs> like, he's, he's my youngin. Like, he, he's starting to look like me more and more every day. He acts like his mama, but when it comes to his appetite, he, he acts he, like his mama. He's like me. I like my meat and potatoes. He's a, I love my macaroni and cheese. He loves his macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Like you give him regular meat and potatoes and mac and cheese, he's clapping, he's jumping, he's happy. You give him fish and other stuff and he's kind of just like. Yeah, Colton's a meat and taters, man. Well, maybe we ought to give him some of this steak. I give him some. Uh, I'm sure he'd love it. It's medium rare. Mm. I like my steak done, y'all. I like my medium rare. I don't like it rare, but medium rare is just right. It's good, juicy, still got that good flavor. That's just my opinion. How do you guys like yours? Oh, I'm <laughs> gutty, dude. This quarantine has to end. It has to. We have to get moving around. Because if not, we're going to have to take a chainsaw and cut the doors to get my body out of here. Because I'm... <laughs> yes. Oh, I need it. This pillow is getting on my nerves. Speaking of pillows, we bought some amazing pillows. Went and bought some of them my pillows. Dude, I slept so good last night. My neck didn't hurt. What about yours? Now my neck's fine. They're pretty good. We even got Colton. We got a turkey size my pillow for Bubba's. We just gotta find a case for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, we got two of these. One. This yeah, is the, for the a cow. lady that uh, sewed his that blanket right there. Oh, uh, yeah. The lady that sold that. Together, she made him a pillowcase too, and uh, that one actually fit his other one like that pretty good. So we still need to find one more case. Oh, the shoes! Yes, I was already getting the process of getting that up. Check these out. Did you get yourself something? Did Let's you see. get yourself something? Let's see. Now they're a little big still yet, but that's all right. He'll grow into them really soon. Oh. <laughs> and the card says, the "Turkey, we love you. We love following you and your family on TikTok." We hope you enjoy these. It's from Kiki.18. You were beating me up with They're very paper. nice. And it's, you know, these I will, will have to save and put back for him. I don't know if you guys can read what on what's on it, but it says downright perfect. They're so, Down Syndrome awareness shoes. It's got the Down Syndrome colors. Yeah, it does. Blue and yellow. And then focused. it's got um, the handprints. Because, you know, most Down Syndrome, they got the straight line across their palm. I love these. These are very special. Thank you, Kiki18. That is amazing. Yeah. These are something that he will have the rest of his life. When he gets older, he'll have these in his... 
I call it his grow box because I have a box I put special, a tote rather, I put special things in for him to keep for the rest of his life. Keepsakes. Oh. Then where's my other shoe, Daddy? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yeah, We're a mess, y'all. We ain't gonna know how to act out in public, y'all. Like, seriously, all of us. We're gonna come out looking like a bunch of, uh... <laughs> I mean, Sean and Colton need haircuts desperately. Can you imagine if this goes for another month? Everybody's oh, gonna be... Oh, just daddy, baby. Like, we... <laughs> we definitely... We look, I've got a gut feeling like any day now we're gonna be freed up to be able to go and come. And I can't wait. Well, at least two more weeks, you know. Cause Listen, I'm going on a vacation. Yeah, well, once everything's clear. I'm going on a vacation. We we was, before this happened, we was getting ready to go to Gatlinburg. Once this is cleared up, we're going to Gatlinburg. I can't look at this. I need a break from this house. Yeah, I mean, guys. I don't care if it's another house. I just need a break from this house. Yeah, <laughs> seeing the same thing. Twenty, Like, Sean's been the one going out. You know, me and Colton rolled out to Walmart with him, but we sat in the truck while he ran in. And then, that was like two weeks ago. And then we rode out to Long John Silver's with him, but we sat in the truck, me and Colton did. So, me and Colton literally have not been out in public in like four weeks. You asked where his other shoe was? Mm -hmm. It's on his foot. Oh! <laughs> Only my wife. Oh Only my, my mommy wife. Mommy I'm telling you. It's, mess. It's, yeah, she's a mess. I'm a mess. Lord. All right, guys. We're going to sit back. We're going to relax. We're going to watch yeah. us a movie or something. My gut I'm is blowed up. Actually, I'm thinking about going in there and making me a uh, chocolate strawberry real right milkshake. Now. I got that Ninja Bullet. That thing is awesome. Uh, but like I said, if you guys want to see like the videos that we didn't get finished, put it into a compilation. Just let me know, and I'll I'll slap in there, put them together, show you kind of what we've been doing over the last couple Shh. weeks. Other y'all, we have recorded videos and just forgot like. It's we just kind of just sat back and watched TV. And we've been going to bed at 8, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Go, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> He's like, Mom, these are a little big. <laughs> oh, God, he looks so cute, though. <laughs> oh, my God, that's adorable. Yep, too big, Mama. <laughs> Bye, right, guys. We love y'all. And until the next time that we get a video out, stay positive, y'all. Stay country. Stay true to your roots. And we'll see y'all on your turkey side. Bye-bye. Goodbye. <laughs>